they so it's only because i live in the uk because i'm so, so this arm my right leg strokes broken this can't sleep blah, blah, blah. it's only because of that that the government of the uk gives some money to disabled people and that is enough for me to survive on and i take the opportunity that's been presented to me to try to help other people because mm -hmm. other people can't spend time doing like a, a talk like you or i are doing if they've got food bills if they've got heating bills um mm -hmm. to sort out um and living alone it gives me the opportunity to do it so creatives are commonly comedians artists painters although i'm maybe i was trying to suggest that it was a single group but i think that the more i talk about it almost everybody has trauma of one form or another and oh, may, maybe it's just that the people that then have that creative ability find a way to express it that then speaks to the people that can't express it so go. yeah absolutely so like a, a a painting that shows you know a rainy street or what have you but people might look at it and really resonate with them um and they go you know that's something i've seen in my own mind or i'm not sure they see it. uh so when you're being creative do you so what's your uh, it's a bit of a wide question but generally speaking what's the structure you take when you if you're going to write a supposing you're going to write two three paragraphs about a thing uh, what do you tend to do do you tend to outline it first or just go at the writing 80% of my writing is always research and immersion. Um, it, it's something that I put a lot of time into because I don't want to put a whole lot of time into Well, not that I don't want to put a lot of time into the writing. It's just, you know, I don't want to sit there for hours trying to decide, you know, playing word yanga, <laughs> uh, so to speak. So, uh, you know, I am... My goal is always, you know, to know so much about it and to get into the reader's mindset uh, so clearly that you know one i can journal from their perspective which is something i actually do um and two to write something that resonates with them instead of just what i think they want to hear it, it, it makes the writing part of it just so much smoother because when all that's done it's you know i i i, I look up and i oh wait i've got a tab open i've got a, a word doc open and i've got two paragraphs written already how the hell did that happen you know <laughs> and, and uh you so it takes a, a lot of the stress out of the writing for me you know, well you, i was can... uh talking to hannah katus uh mm -hmm. she's, yeah um that was peeking to her mm -hmm. and her two sisters um and um, we were creating an idea and about 15 minutes before we were due to go on the call, I get a little LinkedIn message going, oh, is there anything I need to prepare? And when we got on the call, it was exactly that, that she likes to be absolutely immersed, as knowledgeable as she can be, so that even if she is tripped up by something she doesn't know, she can ask the intelligent questions to figure out, so it's you don't come across like you don't know what you're doing. That's basically what it is. It's a pride in your work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. That's absolutely right. You know, I think you have to be curious, really, to be uh, successful when going as a creative really you know or the copywriter for that matter but yeah you know, it, it, it really is because 
the world of society now changes so fast, you know, that, that we have to really pay attention, you know, in order just to be in the now. I mean, people talk about, you know, being present, being in the moment. That's a very different thing than it was 50 years ago. 